Hey yo, what's up, everybody? Homes here, and welcome back to more Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. We're walkthrough, not a playthrough, with the next build. And uh, yeah, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we took down the catacombs of Kytus, and today we are just gonna be finishing up this area, uh, well, the catacomb area, kind of, sort of. Um, we're gonna be taking on the boss in the catacombs, and we're gonna do a little side quest for Henri, and um, that's gonna wrap it up for yeah today's video. Uh, so first, we're gonna come over here to the smoldering lake, okay? And um, this is where we're gonna kill the NPC for Henri. Um, make sure you do this first before you kill the boss of the catacomb, okay? So you come over here. And then be careful. We'll, we'll explore this area later. And then just like strafe. Ow. Stupid. Let's just go nail me. There you go. And after three shots, we're gonna make a beeline for this little cave over here. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll we'll, we'll do something about that. Um, ballista later once we actually explore the area. I don't know, I don't usually like to explore this area early. There's no... Like, I don't think there's a specific reason why I don't do it early, but... Yeah, I don't know. Just don't usually come here this early. Aw, oh, shit. Still alive. No, 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 no. Come here! There we go. Titanite Chunk. I think that's our first Titanite Chunk. I believe it is. Let's check. Let's double check. Yep, it is. That's our first tiny chunk. And there's Horus. How are you doing, pal? Buddy, old pal, you. Army's looking for you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know what's up with this guy. Has he gone hollow? Or, or what? I don't know. I don't think this guy can parry you. He has a shield that can parry, but I'm gonna see if he tried. Maybe if you spam like attacks on him, he'll, he'll try parrying your ass. But I don't know. And say goodbye, of course. Yeah. Upon killing him, he'll cough up a shield, and if you want to buy a set, you can go to the handmaiden to do that. Uh, but let's check out his shield. It is a parrying shield. So, I don't know. <laughs> and right here we get two large Titanite Shards and um, some pellets. That is pretty much it. Yeah, yellow bug pellet. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to use a Homer Bone and go back to the last bonfire we rested at. Um, I don't want to head on back to Fire Link yet until I'm done with the area. Then I want. Then I'll go back to Fire Link. But until that, like until that happens, uh, it's not gonna go back. So let's go to the first bonfire over here. I still find it weird how there was no bonfire like right in the beginning. I like how they just linked down the best watchers bonfire. It's like it's kind of like. The catacombs bonfire as well. I don't know. They usually like put a bonfire there. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. And once you come back, once you rest in the bonfire, okay. Be careful when you come back here. Look, the rolling skeleton is back. It's gonna follow and stay on the side here. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't want to get rid of that, you're going to have to go up and kill the guy with a little, little hat again. But we're not going to bother doing anything here anymore. So we're done. So I'm just going to slip right by. But we will deal with this guy though, because he does freaking follow you if he sees you running by. So I don't want that happening. Uh oh. 
This guy has fancy maneuvers and so great. What the? <laughs> I like how the backstab sometimes don't initiate like right away. I know when they try to do some attack and then like the backstab kicks in. It's kind of weird, but it's not as bad as it is. Well, it was. Or it is. I don't know if they patched in Dark Souls 2, but. Yeah. I don't know, in PvP, you get like dragged if someone backstabs you and you, you get sent flying back if you, even though it seems like you rolled away, but you didn't really. I don't know, it's weird. So after taking down Horus, come come back to talk to Henri again. Where have you run off to? Have you abandoned me? No. What a horrible thought. And just tell her where he's at do this after killing him okay don't if you see him and then like if you didn't kill him or whatever and you come back don't tell her where he is okay kill him and then tell her where he is goodness me to think there'd be a lake so deep within these catacombs what a relief i knew that horace was alive and wouldn't stray far thank you we are both in your debt this hardly expresses my gratitude, but it'll have to do for now. Please take it. And may the flames guide your way. I will soon head to the lake. Thank you. May the flames guide So we got a ring. Ring of uh, of the evil eye. Absorbs HP from each defeated foe. It's a pretty useful ring because every enemy you kill, it will give you some health back. Alright, so... Could probably be pretty useful for me. Since um, I don't really like resting on bonfires before taking down the area. So, yeah. And the boss fight, it's going to be over here. Uh, is there anything specific I want to equip? trying to see if there is anything worth equipping that's good right now for the boss fights oh uh, I don't think there is but I will try that the ring you know what uh, let's just keep it how it was <laughs> I feel like this is the best setup right now um, there's no pickup in this room so yeah, I don't know. At least I couldn't find any. I checked the entire room. I even hit all the walls and everything. Um, there's no pickups, so... Yeah. This is all there is to this room. is just a boss fight. So in, in order to get to the boss, you're going to have to interact with this goblet here. This is some creepy shit. I don't know about you guys, but I'll probably be piercing my shelf. And I'll have that happen. Um, let's see. Okay. So there's a pickup right there. Don't get too happy about it. Alright, because you can see right there is a freaking hand. A freaking hand right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left over here. There's another hand. And it's his hand. High Lord of Warnier. So you see he has like these bracelets. That's the thing we're gonna have to destroy. And the way to destroy it, you just attack his hand. Just keep the pressure on his hand and then those things will break. And this is kinda like the fight against ceaseless discharge. Um but not really. But like the way you fight it, it's kinda like it because you just attack it. Um but when you do enough damage to it the bracelet will break. 
what you gotta do. You gotta do a slap. Yeah, just keep attacking his hand and then the brace will break like that. And he takes massive damage once one breaks, okay? And then there's one on the left hand over there. From our point of view, is the left. Ouch! Hand. <laughs> um, and then there's two on the right hand over here. You're gonna slap. Okay. The katana is like too fucking small. Okay, if he rears up, he's gonna spit that smoke thing. Be careful of this smoke. Because that can kill you real quick. Because once you're in it, you start taking chip damage like crazy. Um, he does have a couple of other moves. He has a move where he summons a sword, which he's not like doing right now. I don't know why. I'm just going to drop itself until... I'm going to just break it until there's only one bracelet left. I'm going to wait for him to do the attacks. Hopefully I don't fucking die because of that. Um, there is no grab for this guy. Okay. Make sure you don't try to like get behind him or anything, because as long as you see a smoke, just don't get near any fog smoke thing, because um that will do damage to you. Okay. Ouch. I want him to do his summoning attacks, because he summons skeletons and he summons um a sword as well. I don't know why he's not doing it. Fucking do your summoning thing. Stop. Mailing me. I can't kill you right now, bitch. Just want you to do the summoning stuff. Can you do it? Okay, he's doing it. So yeah, is that the sword or is that the... Okay, that's the skeletons. Um, the funny thing about the skeletons is he can also kill his own skeletons. Which he's gonna demonstrate right now. Look at the fog that comes down. And when his skeletons in it, they all take damage as well. Ouch. Okay, there's a sword. Oh, this guy's attack is kind of hilarious. Ouch. Uh-oh. Probably a bad idea to get him all, let him get all these summons down. Okay, that's gonna explode. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, probably shouldn't have let him summon all that shit. Ah, oh, damn it. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all his attacks. Ah, oh, that got me killed. I cannot believe it. Uh, whatever. But yeah, you guys, it's like this. I just wanted to show you guys, like his moves, okay? Because he barely did anything. I don't like. He didn't even bother like trying to pull any of those stunts. So I didn't want to just show off a fight without any of that, like any of his other moves. Because it'll be pretty stupid. He didn't. He, he just did all his physical attacks. But yeah, tr try to just kill him as quick as possible. The reason why I die is like I let the um, skeletons overwhelm me. Um, the way to stop that shit from happening is you just keep breaking bracelets. Okay, if he summons, you just like keep attacking until one of his bracelet breaks, and that will be how you kill him quick and stop him from like stop him from summoning any more skeletons and stuff. But yeah, I feel like because once one bracelet breaks. It resets the summon so the skeletons won't keep pouring out anymore. Get off! There you go. Yeah, I had a bad feeling that was uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I, I like once those skeletons started coming out, I was like, "This, it's pro I'm probably gonna die during this fight," because um it. It gets pretty crazy. The guys with great, um the giant swords, they show up, and then like the, the freaking ninja assassin guys, they show up too. So things gets a little hairy over there. But yeah, now now we're just gonna do this properly. We're just gonna skip this cutscene because we already saw this shit. For the sake of showing off all his attacks, I died. I don't usually die against this guy. Okay. What's he doing? I did it. I was no. Okay, that was kind of close to me, but 
This one wasn't even gonna hit me. It wasn't even gonna hit me at all, but this one will if I stay too close to him. Oh, another thing you guys are gonna want to worry about. Don't don't stay too far away from him all the time. Because you see he does this climbing attack. He gets a little bit closer to you guys, like to to the top every time he does that. Okay, he gets a like look we're close to the wall now. And you see how his ass always has fog, so if you put it together, he gets close and we get pinned in the wall, and he gets a little bit more closer, and then we get even more pinned to the wall. Yeah, it's pretty much gonna be a game over fight right there. Cause um, once he gets like, cause he'll stuff his face in the wall. I don't know what's up with him, but he'll do it. He's gonna, he's gonna summon skeletons. Stop that shit from happening. Okay, just keep the pressure on here. Just keep that pressure on here. Can't even see his hand. Itch. Come on. Break. Yeah, he, this is like his move sets. And then he's got the summons. Pretty much the only thing. That's dangerous about this guy, it's his summons and his rush. Because if he pushes forward too much, um, that fog is going to get you. Okay. And the way to like push him back, it's you break his bracelet. We're kind of pinned to the wall now. Oh, he's going to summon. I'm going to try break his bracelet before it gets too crazy there you go and we're going we're going we're not done we're going make sure you grab this pickup <laughs> before anything else because this is gonna be a cutscene And we got Ember restored. Alright. And here's the bonfire. Um, I'm just gonna go up here. Because we're close to the next area's bonfire anyways. So I might as well just go light that one. This area is so beautiful. Ithriel of the Boreal Valley. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's so pretty. I think this is my favorite place in um Dark Souls 3. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It looks it looks like Bloodborne. Look. Like, if you just look at that view right there, it's like Yarnum. And then that's like the bridge where you fight the cleric piece or something like that. I don't know. Well, that's that's what it looks like to me. Uh, anyways, let's, let's fly back to Firelink and um, do a little bit of leveling. And, uh, yeah. And also upgrade our as this a little bit at least the mountain heals we're gonna need to upgrade that a little bit because we got two undead bone shards and we haven't even like burned them yet so let's go ahead and do that there we 
we go. I think that's all we got, yeah. That's good, that's good. Um Ah well, how may I give her the umbrio ash? Gracious passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> All right, and he's get uh she, she not he, she's got uh horses set right here, the executioner set, and then we got the abyss watcher set, um, I don't know who who has the exile set, was it one of those guys that we fought um right before we enter Farron Keep? I think it is, and then we got Warnier's crown. And we got the sage's hat, and that's pretty much it, I believe. Um, just more ember you can buy now. Um, I think she gives you these feather arrows too. Well, she will she'll sell you these feather arrows, unless that's already been there. I don't remember. I don't really know what Ash gives what. Cause um I don't know I don't really buy any of her stuff except for um the repair powder let's just get four right now uh, except for the repair powder and arrows that's pretty much all I buy and if I got like leftover souls then I buy armors um I don't really Ashen one I don't really go around like changing armors I usually stick with one unless like um. Unless I make another build, then I'll probably do something else. But other than that, I usually just stick with one armor set. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see the works. <laughs> okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see what's up with him now. Oh, hello. Your hand in one piece. Okay. So. I don't know if anything new with this guy. Probably should like keep up to date with these NPCs in Firelink. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, this place is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's Yuria. All right, I got a pyromancy tome. Let's go and talk to this guy for it. I mean, to give it to him. Ah, there you are. I am. <laughs> Um, he won't take the Grave Warden one, I believe. I'm afraid yeah. I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp and nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. So yeah, that power, this tome right here, this Palomancy tome, we're gonna have to give it to someone else. Uh, and that NPC we can unlock, it's close to the current area we're at. It's like, the next part, if you wanna call it. But yeah, that NPC is close. And I'll show you guys how to unlock her when we get there. Well, well, I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tone is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> is that right? And, um... Yeah, it just kind of expands his uh, Paramancy spell inventory a little bit more. And that's pretty much all. Ah, you found a tome in the catacombs. This spell is akin to chaos. It may even serve as a link to Isolith, home of pyromancies. Ah, you found this. All right. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? 
<laughs> okay. I just noticed he has like dead crows right next to him. Does he eat that shit? Back again, I see. I suppose this means you're after sorceries. Well, not really, but well, there's nothing we can do for him. Come again. Uh, how is she doing? Oh, champion of ash, welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You have a pleasant day, craved. All right, let's just leave her alone for now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's, uh, there's no one else we can like, really talk to. Uh, yeah, I don't really think we're gonna need any boss items, right? Because uh, I don't really use them. So let's just use all our. Let's just use the rest of our souls to level up. Just get um bigger to 20, endurance to 25, and then up dexterity a little bit more, and that should be good. Okay, uh, how are we doing on arrows? Okay, we're empty on wooden arrows. Standard arrows. We have decent amount of them. Let's just go and buy more. Oh. Should buy. Let's get large arrows because they do more damage. Wait, I can still buy some of this. Yeah, buy four. And let's start switching these things out. Let's uh this is R one R. This should be good. Yeah, okay, that's good. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this part of the walkthrough. Um in the next episode we will be taking on Ithrio of the Boreal Valley. So yeah, let's just get there and, um, you know, let's just get there first <laughs> because I don't want to, I don't want to go through another bonfire to another area cut, I mean, loading screen in the next episode. I just want to take on the area in the next episode and this area, let's see, I don't think it's super long. At least I hope it's not. Every every time I when I think an area, it's like not that long. It turns out to be like an hour or something long. But I don't know. I don't think it's that long. But we'll see once once it happens. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's walkthrough. So thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And um, if y'all found all three of those qualities to be in this video then I stay tuned for the next one but until next time I will see you all later Holmes out